Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm going to do part two of our laser cut animal. Show you how to scale it, show you how to get it so you can put it on a base, and all that fun stuff with all your different layers. And we're good to go. All right, so left off here with our three layers and our picture. I'm going to turn off the picture. And remember, cut one should have uh, any tail or head or anything you might have, while your other layers um, should not have the head and the tail, right? And then we'll all sit down, I'll show you how to do that in a second. And all that fun stuff. All right, um, what's the first thing that we should do? We should put that back on. And we should set this up for scaling it down. So the first thing though you recognize is this animal is gonna go into a base. We're gonna slap it into a base. So what we're gonna do for this is specific, I'm in this layer now, that's why I'm gonna do this foot first. This one looks good. I'm gonna go across like this and draw a box and eventually, yep. There you go. It's showing me that I have a square here. If that perpendicular bisector is on, make sure you at least have the 45 for the polar snapping on. I'm just going to click. All right, this is what's going to go into the base, and this is what's going to help us with the scaling. So if I dimension this right now, you'll notice it's not a value that's that helpful to anything at all. All right, but that's fine. What we're going to do, though, now is I'll put one of these on all of them. Oh, it's blue. How did you know? How did it know? On all of these. Whatever. I don't know why it yelled at me. I'm going to change that layer to green. Right? All these are going to go on the feet. This is why also that we had all these feet go to the base, because or the base of the picture, even if it's not going that far. You want to do that because that enables you to do this part right now. All right? I uh, just copied and pasted those. I'm going to move... On the midpoint, who knows? All right, enter to repeat my command. Close enough. And we're gonna place it. Uh, we're eventually going to delete all those bottom things. Yes, we're gonna do that right now, might as well. Right, yes. Click, click. X for explode, enter. Select objects, those, enter. So now I can click on these and delete. Those aren't joined together. We're going to need to connect them. Line, L, enter. It's a little crooked. It's annoying. Should have moved that over, huh? Oh well. Highlight. X for explode. Everybody on the inside, delete. L, I'm in the wrong layer. All right. L, whoop, 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 L, enter. Uh, you're going to do the same thing in WebCAD, right? Getting these boxes on, little high heels on this moose. This one, since I drew it on that one, should be fine. And this one, since it's already exploded, on um, the box is not exploded. Moving right along. Am I in the right layer? No, of course not. L, enter. All right, we got shoes on, great. Uh, now we are ready to scale it down so that we can laser cut it. Our laser cutter, or the material we're gonna use for this animal is gonna be an eighth of an inch, so that's 0.125. All right, now this is 0.6283. We want this to be scaled down, so I'm gonna highlight the whole thing. Uh, I don't think I have the pitch wrong. I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, including my picture, just so we have it for reference later. I'm going to type in the word scale. This is going to be the same thing in WebCAD. Enter, base point, uh, doesn't particularly matter. I'll choose the corner of the picture. Now it's asking for scale factor, or now on the bottom, it should say reference. Same thing in WebCAD, reference. What is our reference length? Is that, that's why I put that dimension on before. Our reference length is, yours is going to be different. Mine is 0.6283. Enter. And now what do we want it to become? We want it to become an eighth which is 0.125, enter. So now if I look at the scale now, or the thing that we dimensioned, it is an eighth. We are scaled down to the thickness, or the dimensions, I should say, that we want. All right, good work, team. Let's turn that off. And now I'm gonna offset the top layer because so it's staggered. So this is a little annoying, a little tricky. I think right now, since we exploded, they're all individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's rejoin them. Join, enter. 
uh, switch over to that layer. Turn that guy off. Of course, we got to do everything twice. Join, enter. Let's turn this guy back on. And we are going to offset. So I'm going to highlight everything. Offset, enter, specify offset distance. I'm going to do an eighth again, enter. And select my objects, go in. Select my objects. Oh, 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 that, why is it not considering this guy joined? Not an offset anymore. Offset. Offset distance eighth. That guy in. That's fine if it cut off the back of this. We only want this top part anyway. All right. It's weird that it did that. Very weird. So if, even if yours screws up, it's okay. All right. In the meantime, I'm just going to turn that guy off. And look at this. So this is, will be the step down that we want to be. This is like that. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to explode this. You can't type a letter when it's, something's highlighted. And we're just going to delete everything on the bottom. I just want that top part because I'm going to have this top part be my new top part since I exploded it all. This is going to be our new offset. I'm just chunking off a cool whole corner here it's fine then I will draw a polyline corner I'm gonna just yeah let's curve it a little bit right I'm gonna go to there perfect who knows where that actually is on the moose uh, right click polyline spline you guys should spline yours too and then I'll draw another one on this side click click Click, 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 perfect, right click, spline, perfect. Now these two guys, I'm just gonna control C, control V, control C, control V, because I'm gonna put these on the other layer as well. Now I just need to get rid of this top part, X to explode, delete all these guys up here. Why am I doing this? Because this is the step down on the side of the animal for, I'll just drag this up to that endpoint. Uh, the side of the animal for the, makes it look 3D, right? This makes it look like it has like a thickness to it. Whoa, 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 going too fast, going too fast. Oh my goodness, okay, that is Perfect. So now if I turn back on this guy, turn this guy off, turn the current layer off, go back into this one. Whoops. Turn it back on. I need to switch these to that layer because we're going to use them. Perfect. Perfect. Now I can turn that off. And there that is again. We're going to click on the outside guy, X to explode. Can't hit it while I'm on top. X to explode. And I might as well move this first and for move. Base point is this endpoint. I, I don't like this corner, wasn't I? Whoa. Well, it's a different shape. Whatever, we'll trim it all. Jeez, that's ugly. Let's go to there. Doesn't particularly matter. It's easier to just reuse the same thing so it kind of looks the same. But it's not like you're going to be able to see through it. What if I move from the base one? Oh, that's going to be even messier. Whatever. This is all separate now. X to explode. Delete, 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 delete. Yeah, it takes some time to do this stuff. Ah, I had the other one highlighted still. And then we don't need any of this on the inside. X, uh, X to explode. It'll make sense in a second why we're doing this. I swear. I swear. Of 
cleaning it up. Almost done. Almost done. What happened here? Cleaning this up. There's still more. What fun and exciting YouTube videos I make for you guys. I know. How do you guys go weeks without watching any videos? I don't know. Just the quality, quality of this stuff. Mind boggling. Hallelujah. Wait, got it. All right. So now what does this look like? Pow. That's why I did this. Oof. Whatever. Uh, the offset down so that when we actually have this thing, oh, it's going to bother me. <laughs> the offset down so that actually looks like it's 3d i don't know why i'm spending so much time doing this let's just control z there go back it's fine it's perfectly fine all right so now i have those uh things staggered down now will be the steps down i'm already at 11 minutes for this video let's pick up the pace all right so now we need the things from the side actually let's make the slots down so the slots down, rectangle, the cuts. Remember, eighth inch thick material. So my box for this, excuse me, is going to be, well, which one am I doing first? Whip that way. That This one's going to be an eighth, so it's going to be 0.125, tab, and let's make it 0.25. Enter. Yes. So right now I'm in the um, blue one. Let's just go ahead, control C, control V, click, click. There's three, and I'm just going to make one more over there extra. So I'm going to move this now. I'm going to turn off um, nothing. I'm not going to turn off anything. I'm going to move, enter from the midpoint, triangles midpoint, right? And this one's going to be, you want as much of it as possible showing. It's going to be like that. Perfect. Uh, move, enter. From here, uh, let's make it close to that corner there, like that. Oh, this goes down pretty far, huh? Enter, move. This one will be up here somewhere. Yay. So now I'm going to switch uh, layers, switch that into that layer. Control C, Control V, another one out there. Move, do the exact same thing. Put these directly on top of this one because they should be in the same spot. Exciting content. Almost done with this. And now we need to be uh, this in the other layer now. Cut one, Control C, Control V, we need three of those. So now this not, this time though, it's gonna be directly above it, All right? So if I highlight, move, these are the slots that the side pieces are cut for is gonna go into. So mouse over this side, All right? And then get a, whoa. That's a lot, oh, because of all the silly, There we go, got it. All right, make sure the sides are the same. Where am I at? Highlight, M for move, midpoint. Click, move, almost there. 15 minutes, I'm gonna stop this video after just doing this. Oh, I moved. Oh, no. There it is. Got it. So what you need to do now, uh, turn off the other layers that you're not in. There you go. And then you got to clean up the top so that this is a slot down. Okay, so is this whole thing one thing again? No, it's still one. 
these guys are all one thing. So I'm going to highlight them, X for explode, and then get rid of everything up top. All right, you'll have to adjust all your points on the side so that they hit the side of the uh, cuts that we made. Delete, delete, and drag those to our rectangle points. Oof, professional clicker over here. Delete, delete, oh, whoa. Delete, beautiful, all right, whoa, what, I thought I, I thought I moved that. There you go, huge slots, cuts in it, and mine, if yours has this as well, it's okay, uh, you can change it. I probably, if I wasn't just making the video right now, I'd probably make these a little bit smaller on the side. But you're going to do that for each one of these, okay? Uh, cut. Yes, keep it on. All right? Delete. Change to fix the tops. Fix the tops. Yes, turn on. Fix the tops, right? So that there is a cut out of the top. So they all look like... Turn it off. Turn it off. Right? So they all have an opening on the top like that. All right? So we're almost there. I'll make one more video for this side plate. That one should be shorter, though. All right. Good luck. Have fun.